world number one coach, Pete Cowan, says this is one of the biggest errors club golfers have. Standing too far from the golf ball. We're gonna look at your chipping and pitching, and I'm gonna give you an exact measurement so you can bring this into your game. I want you to look at this and go, how am I chipping and pitching right now? Is it good enough? And look, this is how you can improve it. Now on this channel, we are powered by you, the viewers, and we're answering this question. Now, if you want your question answered, it's dead easy. Subscribe, turn the bell, and just pop your comment down below. So his idea is really, really simple. We want to allow the natural forces of the golf swing to take place. Like, if you think about this logically, if I grab any club in my bag and I swing it up, and let it go, it wants to return to vertical, doesn't it? Now, the further I get away from that, so imagine me trying to chip like this, and again, start to compare what I'm doing here, okay, to what you're doing in your swing. Now, the further away I get, the club always wants to go back to vertical, remember this. So as soon as this club goes behind me like this here, it wants to drop in this space. Now this forces us to sort of move, rotate, maybe move a little closer, stand up, the fats and the thins. So the idea is simple. The closer I get to the ball, the more consistent the strike is going to be because the natural forces, the clubs in front of me, are all falling more vertical and there's not this change in shaft angle from here to here. We're already in that space, and that's the simple idea. So, have a look at how I'm standing right now. I'm getting closer. My measurement for chipping, I have one, two, three club heads from my back right foot. Now you'll also notice from my player cam perspective, like I'm stood a little bit left foot back, a little bit like this. So you can really see that again, one, two, three. My shaft angle is a little steeper. My arms are nicely extended, and that allows me to keep the club in front. Again, to use the natural forces to get that strike. So that point it gets even worse is when it gets round at this parallel position. So we're staying more over it, more chest over it, arms extended down. It's a really, really good point. Okay, let me play these two green ones away here. Have a look at this strike. One, two, three. You can just check it as easy as that too. Weight left, back, get that strike. Every time you feel like you can get that strike on the ball, which is exactly what we want to get. Again, watch this one be struck here. Again, the strike is just the same every time. Oh, dancing around the flag. Okay, let's move a little further back now. Let's go into where we hit these pitch shots and the slight change in distance. Now we've moved roughly around about 20 paces back. We've got this pitch shot all the way into the screen. So there's two differences you need to look at. What the wrists do a little bit, and also our distance measurement from the ball. So hopefully you've started to realize and compare to yourself how now the closer we get, the more we can allow the natural forces to help us not hinder us and sort of let me I gotta react to where the shaft angle is moving back to. So nice and simple, this is the measurement I want you to go to. And I because of practice, I get there quite simply every time, but I want you to check it every shot. So I go to a position now where I'm one, two, three, four club heads away again from my back foot. Really, really easy. So let's talk about these wrists. So if you come a little bit closer here, We'll show you from both, but have a little bit of look at this. Your wrists can do this, right? And they can move this way. Now, when we're chipping, we probably just want a little bit of this, okay? A little bit. When we're pitching, we want a little bit of that and a little bit of that, okay? And all you've got to think of that is, it's the L shape in your swing. Now, the, the great thing I like from this setup position, the left arm and your club head is like a constant. So when you're chipping, that's why gravity's on your side and you get that strike, the club drops where you want it to go. You have that same setup, apart from being a little further away from the, on the pitch, and then you create the L shape. So we've got a little bit of that and a little bit of that. Simple as that. And just think of that as L shape. L shape. So you can see that from this angle. That butt end of the club is sort of pointing in between my feet and the golf ball. Allows it to return back. Okay, let's hit two in here. Let's see 
how we can get this ball dancing around this flag. And I want to show you a couple because I know I'm confident in this, but I'm only confident in this, even off a wet lie, because I got the right distance. Let's hit this one away. Get your four club heads to four. Work it in. Grip in the middle, my chest and arms feel like over it, and the arms and left and right arm are nice and extended in that address position. Not bent. Again, that's keeping the constants. I'm keeping myself over. I want you to really just compare this to what you're doing. And this is the point where you can look at the pace, the rhythm as well. Here we go. Let's get this dancing around that flag. Four club heads in. Use the gravity. It's going to be good, this. Dancing around that flag. There's one. And the sensation students get when they, when they do this is that the club is falling. The club is falling on that ball. When you're far away, you're fighting it. You really are. And that's why strike becomes fat, thin, inconsistent. Here we go. Second one in there. There's a little bit of room in there, I guess. One, two, three, four. Takes literally three seconds to get it. Again, this is going to be good. I know it. I just know it. Look at the stop on it. Proof is in the pudding. Look where they finished. I want you to bring that distance into your game. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know what you need help with. I want to help you play your best golf.